following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Are you tired of making that walk of shame and saying this? Man, these randoms trash, bruh. Them dudes ain't even good. We just lost two, man. If I would have had my squad, on God, we would have beat them, bruh. On God, I would have won that game, bruh. Never again you will be able to go to the park when you want to. Go on streaks when you want to. And you will no longer have to wait on your friends to get off other trash games. Yo, what's up? Yo, you trying to get carried on 2K? <laughs> I don't get carried. Yeah, I'm not trying to play 2K shit. I don't fuck that shit no more. That shit ass. <laughs> You tripping, man. What you want? Fortnite. Oh, hell no. Nah. Never again will you take that walk of shame because you're going to be known as the random god, aka the new neutralizer, aka the 2018 Suluminati. So fuck sportsmanship, fuck being the bigger man, and fuck your opponents. Get in their face, get disrespectful, and get jiggy. That's tough, my nigga. That's tough. One back, one back, two back, two. Up from the hood, nigga, I will bag you. Back three, back three, back four. Yes, man, it really is me. Me, Zool, aka the instant burner, man. And for everybody that just got 2K, I want to welcome all of y'all Christmas noobs. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a game that's going to pull out your hair, give you gray hairs, and going to piss you the fuck off. Welcome to the 2K community, man. But yeah, man, since all of y'all have just got the game, bro, I'm going to try to help y'all out for real, though, man. Because a lot of y'all don't have squads if you just got the game, so you're going to be playing with a lot of randoms. So I'm going to give y'all some tips on how to pick up randoms on this game, man. But let's go ahead and get into this, man. The very first thing, bro, that you should know with running with randoms is... You're already in a tough spot. If you have to run with randoms, bro, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard streak if you don't know what you're looking for. So you might take some L's. So please do not give up. The second thing that you should know, man, is that when you're running with randoms, you want to minimize the randoms that you run with. By that I mean if you if it's if you're running threes, try to pick up one of your homeboys that you already know. So you only gotta run with one random. You know what I'm saying? Just in case you got to isolate him from the ball if he's if he's trash you know what i'm saying the next thing that y'all should know is do not do not necessarily look at ratings bro let me let me show y'all bro let me let me look bro don't necessarily look at ratings bro let me try to pick up a 90 cash cardi let me look at him bro you know what i'm saying let me see let me look at his ratings look at it 90 but his win percentage is a 37 i'm gonna show y'all y'all shouldn't really look at the win percentage i'm gonna show y'all why in a little bit but you look at the rest of his stats they are also pretty trash for a pure stretch four they are they are bad for a pure, pure stretch four but i'm gonna show y'all what to look at as a, especially as a center bro as a center you should never look at the win percentage i'm gonna show y'all let me look at this uh let me look at that mvp dude right there let me look at the mvp dude let me show y'all what y'all should look at when you're trying to pick up a random, bro. Especially at center, bro. Because I've ran, if y'all know me, bro, I've ran with plenty of random centers and went on streaks. Especially if y'all look at my live streams, bro. I picked up random centers and went on streaks because I know what to look at just by following my method. But uh, this dude right here, bro, MVP, this, this 92 is actually legit, bro. What you need to look at when you're looking for centers is you want to look at the rebounds and you want to look at the field goal percentage. What you want the rebounds to be, you want him to have at least average at least three to four rebounds a game you don't want you don't want two or under if he has two or under rebounds a game you got guards that average that if he's getting two or under rebounds a game for it's a good chance one that he doesn't play center primarily so he's probably only playing center because he's trash at guard and two he gets snagged on a lot you do not want to get snagged on you will not streak on this game without a good center it doesn't matter how good you are if you don't have a good center to clean up your messes on these misses especially on this game because you don't make as many shots you're going to lose and you're not going to streak so you want to pick up a center with at least three to four rebounds the next thing 
you want to look at when it comes to centers is the field goal percentage. You want a center that shoots at least at least high 60s to 70% from the field because most of the time, bro, they're going to be they're going to be dunking the ball. If he's shooting like 50%, do not pick him up because he forces shots. He doesn't know how to get the dunk animation. He's probably trash to do. So do not pick up these type of If you're trying to pick up guards, what you want to look at? Let me let me look. Let me pull up his stuff first. So y'all want he's a pure slasher but what you guys want to look at when you're picking up guards this dude is not he has a 47 win percent but he's not bad what you want to look at you want to look at their field goal percentage you want somebody that shoots at least 55 and older 55 and up when it comes to the field goal percentage if he's a pure sharp if he is a pure sharp bro you also want to look at his three point percentage and make sure man make sure he just sent me an invite make sure that he is shooting at least at least 55% from three. This is a slash, so you can't expect much. But I know a lot of people on this game with no skill try to play try to play the, the pure sharps you know what I'm saying? they try to play pure sharps and they trash it pure sharp how you gonna be a pure sharp and you don't know how to shoot threes a lot i played with a lot of pure sharps on this game that don't know how to shoot you know what i'm saying so if you're looking at pure sharps on your team do not pick up anybody that shoots under under 55 percent bro the next thing guys is make sure that you have a mic and make sure everybody that you're playing with has a mic if somebody does not have a mic and they're a random don't play with them because man this game takes a lot more skill and a lot more chemistry especially on defense and the last thing guys is be smart man by that i mean don't have the right lineups don't go out here with three slashes where you don't have a shooter on the court have at least one perimeter sharp shooter or shooter in general on the court at all times man if you do what i just said man you have a chance you have a chance of streaking man you have a chance of streaking but you also need to know listen to what i'm saying you need to know how to guard the criss crosses on this game i have a video popping up in the top right of your screen go look at that video if you do not know what the criss crosses are on this game because if you are a noob at this game you will get killed by them on the part but if this guy, if this helped y'all in any way don't forget to smash that like if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe man and if y'all want more tips and tricks on a park or if y'all want like money plays or anything like that comment below money plays and i will give y'all some money plays to alt that will help y'all score almost every time on the park but y'all already know who this is it is your boy me